Thank you to Logitech and Discord for sending us to PAX East 2016 this year to check out all of their stuff. Check out the link in the video description down below. All right, guys, welcome to the Intel booth. We're checking out the top three computers at the Intel booth. I know we usually do like top five desktops or whatever, but today, top three computers. It will be two computers, like desktop computers, and one laptop. The one that we're going to start with is from Main Gear, and it is beautiful. It is also expensive at over $6,000. But yeah, anyways. So in terms of specs, it has an i7-6700K processor from Intel, 16 gigabytes of HyperX memory, a 750 series 400 gigabyte NVMe SSD, a Maximus 8 gene motherboard. It has EK water blocks, a 360 rad, 360 millimeter rad, and a Corsair AX 860 watt power supply. In terms of aesthetics, what you're looking at is Le Mans blue on the outside of the case and within certain other aesthetic components. You're looking at nickel-plated brass tubing throughout. The cable wiring that they do is called Origami. It's a, like a product name, but it does look quite beautiful. They've done a great job with the management and the overall aesthetic of the cables as well. One thing to note here is that the 750 series NVMe SSD is also water-cooled, which is actually pretty insane. Those things do get pretty hot, that's why you do see fairly large heat sinks on them. So seeing one that's water-cooled is actually kind of cool. Is it really going to change anything? No, but it might add longevity, maybe, possibly. It does look really cool, regardless. Next up is Cybertron. They have a beautiful looking case with a really interesting red and black mixed aesthetic going all around it. The art on this thing is fantastic. It is also hardline, but not a metal hardline and has a red and white overall look on the inside. They're also using EK water blocks and they're using thermal take fans. For the more general main components, they have a Core i7-6700K, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 megahertz memory from HyperX, a 980Ti SLI system, although the bridge is missing. That was removed because VR SLI is kind of having some problems with Vive right now. It doesn't really work that great. And actually running an SLI results in a massive drop in overall frame rate. So they're running a single card, even though there are two cards in here. It also has a 750 series NVMe SSD and a Gigabyte G1 gaming motherboard. For a power supply, it's running an HX1200i, so you're fine in terms of power. For laptop, we have one. It is the MSI GT72S. It has an i7-6820HK in it, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, an Intel wireless AC, killer LAN, G-Sync IPS 1080p display, which is fantastic. G-Sync on a laptop is great. Thunderbolt 3 and a 730 series 240 gigabyte SSD. Now, what I didn't mention is its graphics card. It does have a desktop 980 in it, and that is one of the reasons why it's the only current HTC Vive like certified laptop. Now, you might be aware that there are other laptops that would definitely be capable of running a Vive. That is partially because not all of them have been pushed through the certification process yet, but I did want to call this laptop out because that is pretty sick regardless. In terms of I.O., starting on the back, you have a USB Type-C 3.1 connector, Ethernet, power, HDMI, and Thunderbolt. On the right-hand side, you have a Blu-ray drive and two USB 3.0 ports. On the left-hand side, you have an SD card slot, four audio jacks, and four USB 3.0 ports. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Hopefully you enjoyed our top three computers at the Intel booth. If you want to see all the rest of our content, please stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips to see all of our like PAX East 2016 growly voice. This is basically impossible to listen to content. Also, thank you to Logitech for bringing us here this year. If you want to see all of their stuff, including their new G900 wireless mouse, click the link in the video description down below. They've got keyboards, headsets, racing wheels, whatever you want. Also, thank you to Discord. They're awesome. Free voice and text servers. That's freaking sweet. You can go sign up for one now, make your own, join someone else's, whatever you want. Link in the video description down below.